In the rugged mountains of Craighammer, where the wind howls through ancient stone and the echoes of the past whisper tales of glory and valor, a new legend is born. This is the tale of the Iron Chalice, a symbol of hope and unity in a land divided by strife. Our story begins in the heart of Craighammer, a city carved from the very mountains themselves. Its stone towers and iron gates stand as a testament to the resilience and determination of its people, the dwarves of Craighammer. Among these sturdy folk, a young blacksmith named Balgor Ironfoot was renowned for his skill and creativity. His creations were not just functional, but works of art. Each piece telling a story, each hammer stroke a verse in a grand epic. One day, as Balgor was working in his forge, a stranger arrived. He was an old dwarf, his beard as white as snow, his eyes filled with a wisdom that comes from centuries of living. He introduced himself as Thoreg, a historian and keeper of ancient lore. Thoreg spoke of a prophecy, a tale passed down through generations. It spoke of a time of great strife, when Craighammer would be torn apart by conflict. But it also spoke of a beacon of hope, an artifact of great power that could unite the people and restore peace. This artifact was the Iron Chalice. The Iron Chalice, Thoreg explained, was not a mere cup. It was a symbol, a testament to the unity and strength of Craighammer. To create it, one would need not just skill, but a deep understanding of the spirit of Craighammer. Balgor, moved by Thorag's words, agreed to undertake the task. He knew that the task would be challenging, that he would need to pour his heart and soul into the creation of the Iron Chalice. But he also knew that he could not stand by while his home was torn apart by strife. And so, Balgor set to work. He gathered the finest iron, its deep, rich color a reflection of the rugged mountains of Craighammer. He stoked his forge, the flames dancing and flickering, their heat a testament to his determination. As Balgor worked, he could feel the spirit of Craighammer. He could hear the wind howling through the mountains, feel the steady beat of the forge, and see the determination in the eyes of his people. And with each hammer stroke, he poured this spirit into the iron chalice. Days turned into weeks as Balgor worked tirelessly on the iron chalice. The blacksmith's forge became a beacon of light in the heart of Craighammer, its glow a testament to Balgor's unwavering determination. Word of Balgor's task spread throughout Craighammer, and soon, dwarves from all walks of life came to watch him work. They watched in awe as Balgor shaped the iron, his hammer strokes echoing through the city like a rhythmic song. As Balgor worked, he told stories of Craighammer's past. He spoke of the city's founding, of the strength and resilience of its people, and of the trials they had overcome. With each story, he hammered the spirit of Craghammer into the Iron Chalice, its form slowly taking shape. But the creation of the Iron Chalice was not without challenges. The iron was stubborn, resisting Balgor's attempts to shape it. The heat of the forge was relentless, its flames threatening to consume him. But Balgor did not falter. He knew that the fate of Craghammer rested on his shoulders and he would not let his city down. One day, as Balgor was working on the chalice, a group of dwarves arrived at his forge. They were warriors, their armor scarred from countless battles. They spoke of a conflict brewing in the city, of factions vying for power. They feared that Craighammer was on the brink of civil war. Balgor, hearing their words, felt a sense of urgency. He knew that he had to finish the Iron Chalice to unite the people of Craighammer before it was too late. With renewed determination, he returned to his forge, his hammer strokes echoing through the city. As the days passed, the Iron Chalice began to take shape. It was a thing of beauty, its form reflecting the rugged beauty of Craighammer. Its surface was etched with runes, each one telling a story of Craighammer's past. It was more than just a chalice, it was a symbol of Craighammer's spirit. The day the Iron Chalice was completed, a hush fell over Craghammer. The city, usually filled with the sounds of bustling markets and echoing forges, 
was silent, its people waiting with bated breath. In the heart of the city, Balgor held up the completed iron chalice. It was a masterpiece, its iron surface gleaming in the light of the forge. The runes etched into its surface told the story of Craighammer, of its strength and resilience, and of its people's unwavering spirit. As Balgor held up the chalice, a cheer erupted from the crowd. The people of Craghammer, from the youngest child to the oldest elder, celebrated the completion of the Iron Chalice. It was a symbol of their city, a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty. But even as they celebrated, the threat of conflict loomed over Craghammer. The factions within the city were growing more restless, their disputes threatening to tear the city apart. Balgorn knew that he had to act, to use the Iron Chalice to unite the people before it was too late. With the Iron Chalice in hand, Balgor approached the leaders of the factions. He spoke of the spirit of Craighammer, of the strength and resilience of its people. He spoke of the challenges they had overcome and of the trials they would face. He held up the Iron Chalice, its surface gleaming in the light. He spoke of its creation, of the stories etched into its surface and of the spirit of Craighammer that it embodied. He urged the leaders to remember their shared history, to remember the spirit of Craighammer, and to work together for the good of the city. The leaders, moved by Balgor's words, agreed to a truce. They pledged to work together to put aside the differences for the good of Craighammer. The city, once on the brink of civil war, was united its people standing together in the face of adversity. With the city united, Craighammer entered a period of peace. The factions, once at odds with each other, worked together to strengthen the city. The markets bustled with activity. The forges echoed with the sound of hammer on iron, and the people of Craighammer lived in harmony. Balgor, his task completed, returned to his forge, but he was not the same blacksmith he had been. He was a hero, the creator of the Iron Chalice, the one who had united Craighammer. His creations were no longer just works of art, but symbols of hope and unity. But even as peace reigned in Craighammer, a new threat emerged. From the depths of the mountains, a beast of legend awoke. It was a dragon, its scales as hard as iron, its eyes glowing with a fierce, primal intelligence. The dragon, drawn by the power of the Iron Chalice, attacked Craghammer. Its fiery breath scorched the city's stone walls, its claws tearing through the city's defenses. The city's warriors, despite their bravery, were no match for the beast. Balgor, hearing of the dragon's attack, knew that he had to act. He took up the iron chalice, its iron surface gleaming in the light. He knew that the chalice was more than just a symbol. It was a weapon a tool to protect Craighammer. With the Iron Chalice in hand, Balgor faced the dragon. He stood tall and proud, his resolve unwavering. He was not just a blacksmith. He was a hero, the protector of Craighammer. The battle between Balgor and the dragon was fierce. The dragon's fiery breath clashed with the power of the Iron Chalice, the air filled with the smell of scorched iron and burning fire. But Balgor did not falter. He stood his ground, his determination unwavering. With a mighty roar, Balgor charged at the dragon. The iron chalice held high above his head gleamed with a fierce light. The dragon, taken aback by Balgor's courage, hesitated, its fiery gaze meeting Balgor's determined eyes. In that moment, Balgor struck. The iron chalice, imbued with the spirit of Craighammer, clashed against the dragon's iron scales. The impact echoed through the city, a testament to Balgor's courage and the power of the iron chalice. The dragon, wounded by the attack, retreated. Its fiery gaze, once filled with primal fury, was now filled with fear. It had underestimated the spirit of Craighammer, the courage of its people, and the power of the Iron Chalice. As the dragon retreated, a cheer erupted from the city. The people of Craighammer, 
their faces lit by the glow of the iron chalice, celebrated their victory. They had faced a dragon, a beast of legend, and had emerged victorious. Balgor, standing amidst the cheering crowd, couldn't help but feel a sense of pride. He had faced a dragon, had protected his city, and had proven the power of the Iron Chalice. But more than that, he had shown the people of Craighammer that they were stronger than they knew. In the days that followed, the people of Craighammer celebrated their victory. They sang songs of Balgor's bravery, of his battle with the dragon, and of the power of the Iron Chalice. The city, once on the brink of civil war, was now united its people standing together in the face of adversity. In the years that followed, the tale of Balgor and the Iron Chalice became a legend. It was a story told around fires, a tale of courage, unity, and the indomitable spirit of Kragomir. It was a reminder of their shared history, of the trials they had overcome, and of the strength they possessed. Balgor, the humble blacksmith turned hero, continued to serve his city, he became a symbol of hope, his story inspiring the people of Craighammer. His creations, each one a testament to his skill and creativity, were sought after. Their beauty and craftsmanship a reflection of Craighammer's spirit. The Iron Chalice, the symbol of Craighammer's unity, was placed in the heart of the city. It stood as a reminder of their shared history, of the trials they had overcome, and of the strength they possessed. It was a beacon of hope, its iron surface gleaming in the light of the city. And so, the legend of the Iron Chalice lived on. It was a tale of courage and unity, a story that echoed through the halls of Craighammer. It was a testament to the spirit of Craighammer, a reminder of their strength and resilience. And as the sun set over the rugged mountains of Craighammer, the echoes of the past whispered tales of glory and valor. For this was Craighammer, a city of iron and stone, a city of courage and unity, a city of legends.